when I was close to my 14, my father, being the sheikh, devoted Muslim, just had it. I was bringing way too much attention to our family and I was too much of a troublemaker. So he figured it's time for me to be somebody else's problem. One day he told me I am going to marry that guy. I'm not kidding, literally. He looked me and pointed at the guy, that guy. I tried to cry my way out of it, beg my way out of it, even fight my way out of it, it did not work. So I became, back then I thought I became his wife. Later on I learned it's called the child wife. The man who bought me, yes, he purchased me. He paid $50 American dollars and opium for about a month of usage for my father. He kind of, sort of had a habit of looking at me as a punching bag. So he had me for over a year. And every day, if he wasn't beating me, he was raping me. If he wasn't raping me, he was beating me. Or sometimes he was doing both. One day when he was done beating me, he left and I figured, wait. If I can somehow get myself to court and go into a courtroom and talk to a judge, looking the way I look right now, he might just feel sorry for me and do something. So let's do it. I walked into a courtroom with a dislocated shoulder, bloody lip, and a bruised face, eye area. And I went to the judge and said, Your Honor, you have got to save me because this man will kill me sooner or later. He was looking down at his papers, very calmly he looked up with a smile and said, well, young lady, maybe if you start obeying your husband, he wouldn't have to beat you. Now go home and make him happy. It wasn't because the judge was just some crazy guy who enjoyed looking at me beat up. No, because he was following the Quran. Chapter 4, verse 34. It says, if you think. You do not need to see, you do not to, you do not need to wait until it happens. If you think your wife is going, she's planning to disobey you, warn her first, separate your bed, then beat her. But if she comes back obeying, seek no further harm. My question is, what if she doesn't come back obeying? Keep on beating? I guess. But yeah, that judge was just following the Quran. My favorite chapter of Quran, by the way, is chapter 4, reason. It's called The Woman. 176 verses. Allah took the time to send a specific chapter on how to treat your woman, how to look at a woman, and what a woman is under Islam.